Hey guys, here's Crash Legend 25 with another fighting game recommendation. And this time, we have an oddball in the Capcom vs. SK series. As we all know, that Capcom vs. SK really had only two games, and both of them were made by Capcom. But what you probably didn't know is that there's one more, and this one was made by SK Playmore. You see, Capcom used the Capcom vs. SNK games to throw SNK out of commission. When SNK saw hope in bringing up their financial statuses, Capcom decided to whip out those two games in order to sort of, you know, get SNK to join them. Plans of shutting them down, and that's what they did. Not only that, but they made a complete mockery of the characters in the game for. Capcom vs. SNK 1 and 2, so this is SVC Chaos, the third installment made by Playmore, which is SNK, obviously. And the difference here than the other games is that this is a traditional one-on-one -on -one fighter, it's not like teams, let's say in um, Capcom vs. SNK 1 and 2, similar to a fashion of King of Fighters. All the SNK characters are now more powerful than they were in Capcom vs. SNK 1 and 2 because Capcom was just being messed up when they did that shit. They tried to water down every goddamn character with only two super moves while the Capcom characters had three. And everyone here who's an SNK fan knows goddamn well that a SNK nigga will fuck a Capcom nigga up. Bottom line. But, yeah, this one made it more fair, so now everyone has, like, three on three super moves. So, everyone's at full power. So that means if you, if you beat Terry with Ryu, it's logic. Terry can beat Ryu's ass. If, if you win with Ryu, it's logic. Ryu can beat Terry's ass. It's none of that beating around the bush bullshit like they do all the time, except there's no max specials really in this game like that, so... Yeah. They do have desperation moves, though, in a fashion of like old school games, so this is a pretty balanced fighter. And I suggest you guys go check it out if you never played it before, because this one's really, really interesting. It is the, the you know, sort of oddball. And it's got so many fighters from both halves, and everything is drawn out this time. It's not taking three shortcuts like Capcom vs. SNK2 did or anything like this. This is pure hand skill here. And what I really like is the backgrounds they seem to be like in isolated areas most of them are destroyed and stuff like that trees on the ground or buildings are destroyed obviously because of the power of the crossover i suppose yeah but most of the character details are slick you know they look pretty nice the snk half is taken from other you know, King of Fighters games, but those graphics were already awesome, and we have a new character model for Terry Bogard. So yeah, all of it's all of it's good in terms of graphics. The Capcom side looks pretty well too. They're well modeled, well polished. They're nicely animated. It has nice graphics, and nice visuals. The combat system is awesome and unique exclusive to this game so yeah if you want to check out a good video game i suggest that you check this out for a fighting game because this one is unique and it's pretty awesome it's got great combos you know, it, great depth to it and that's what most fighting games should have you know great depth and strategy and stuff like that not just you know, not just buggy now and all that so yeah it's a great fighting game well polished, as I said before. SNK's attempt at SBC Chaos, and it was the last installment that really showed off the glory of SNK and what they can do. This has been Crash Legend 25. Check out the game.